Hi, I'm Jamie from Stonemeyer Games, and today I'm going to talk about my favorite mechanism in a little trick-taking game called Robo Trick that uses in every single game an automa. So it uses a bot in every single game, and it really leverages the use of this bot. So we played it. Let's see. Yeah, okay. You have to play it at three players. We played it at three players plus the bot, so it feels a little bit like a four-player game. Um, and the bot, it, it, it's just such an interesting idea to, to, to require the bot be used because the bot is the fourth player and the bot plays a lot into the, the, into the decisions that you're going to make in the game. If the bot is winning a trick, if, the, if so it's a tricking game, if the bot is going to win the trick, then, um, and I'll show you what the bot looks like in a second. I'll show, I'll show you these cards first. So if I have played a six into the trick, if I can pull this out. Here we go. I'll use, a, I'll use a nine and a seven set. If I've played a seven into a trick, but the bot is winning with a nine, um, then because the bot is winning the trick and not me, and I played a seven, I'm going to lose seven points. This number doesn't always match the number of the card, but in this case, a seven value card is worth seven points. So I lose seven points because the bot has won that hand. However, when the bot is losing a hand and another, if a human player is winning the hand, then they gain points equal to the card that the bot played. And so you, um, you're you going after cards that are higher value. So the bot has played a nine value card, then you ideally you want to win that card and not a lower value card because only winning three tricks matters in this game. Winning more than that actually hurts you. So you want to win exactly three tricks if possible. Um, or no more than three tricks. And so every card that you take from the bot, from the, the, the cards that the bot played, really matters. I'd rather take the bot's uh, 10 value cards or nine value cards than take their, their twos and threes and fours. Now, this is the other twist in the game. We're not really the twist, but how the bot works, I think, is so clever. There are a bunch of cards that look like this in the game, and this is how the bot operates. It looks a little complicated at first, but it's actually pretty simple to run. It just tells you what the bot will do when the bot is leading. So they're going to lead with low number. This particular bot will lead with low numbers. Uh, what happens when they uh, when they follow and then uh, when they when they when they can't follow? Um, so they're following in suit if they if they can't follow here. This is one bot here. I'll flash another one up on the screen here. Oh, that, that one's a little similar, but they're all different. So there's all these different bot cards. Every time you play, you can use a different bot card that has different priorities in terms of what they'll do when they lead. Oh, here's one that's a little bit different when they when they lead. They're going to lead with um, the long suit here so that they might look at the, the suit of cards that they have the most of or the least of. So all these different bots, and it's it's really easy to follow. You just look at, okay, if the bot's leading right now, they're going to look at their, their long suit, and they'll choose a card from that suit. Uh, yeah, really interesting order of operations system on this bot. And it's nice that, they, nice that they have more interactions with the bot in this game than normal. Like, really, what the bot is playing matters to you on every single turn, whether or not you're winning or losing that trick to the bot. Yeah, those are my favorite mechanisms in RoboTrick. I'd love to hear your thoughts. If you have another game that you've played that requires that you use a bot when you played, and yet that really added to the experience instead of adding maintenance to the game, let me know in the comments below. I'd love to hear about it, even outside the trick-taking genre. Thanks.